morning whoa it is bright and sunny today so i've dropped the kids off at school and then straight after that i nipped into town because i needed to get a few bits and whatnot i also got a new foundation i don't know what to think of it yet because i can still see my frettles so yeah um let's see how it um stays because basically this one's not meant to budge at all and usually by the end of the day my there's no makeup left on my face so we'll see how this one goes um but yeah i got back and the room's complete tip so i need to get that cleaned um bits and bobs today's basically do little errands edit crazy day <laughs> Um, I always feel like when I've got days like this, I'm like, oh, I've got loads of time to get it done. Because I had like yesterday a day like this where I just kind of like did bits and bobs, ran around and then edit. And then when it came to the evening, I was like, I didn't do everything I wanted to or I felt like I really rushed. So hopefully today I don't feel like that. Um, especially because the internet was taking a minute yesterday uploading videos and it took like four hours to upload like a 10 minute video. <laughs> doesn't usually take that long, usually takes maybe about an hour. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get cleaning and sorting this room out, because like I said, it's a complete mess. cleaning and things all sorted i've got some bits around the house that i need to get done but because oh, i didn't get a chance to do it yesterday so it's insane i've got to put all that washing away up there do all the pots and yeah <laughs> um but i just actually went to nipton's town i got a few bits for the kids i always ask them well i always kind of treat them when i go into town and get them, them a snack before i have to score and they both wouldn't agree on the same thing so i got both basically but they're only gonna have one Gingerbread men, usually, I usually get to pack a gingerbread men and then they have one each. <laughs> That's from like, we've got a pound bakery, it's amazing. But Ava loves these and she says she wants a unicorn cake. So I'm going to take both of them with me in case they decide, because I don't want it to be like, I get Ava a unicorn cake, get Andrew a gingerbread man. And then basically they have a massive arguments saying that they want the others rather than the one that they've got. So if I just take one of each, even though they'll only have one, then I uh, thought it saves arguments. Um, but yeah, I'm just at the PC now, just starting to get stuff uploaded to it and edit. I actually have a dance appointment today, which I'm kind of excited for, but not at the same time. Um, when I went to the dentist, I went with the kids a couple of weeks ago. I was meant to have this appointment a couple of weeks ago, like a couple of days after my original checkup but um, it had to get cancelled because of an emergency at one of the dentists with family um, so I had to rearrange it to today which is best because now they're back at school I've not got the kids with me and they would have actually had to be there when I had a fill in and stuff done um, basically I've got a lot of um, this bottom tooth when I bite down on something called like popcorn, rice, anything like that that can kind of like jam in my tooth I'd bite down and I just get like a sharp pain and she said it's basically uh, it looks okay. I mean it might not look good today because it's two weeks later But she says what it looks like I've actually chipped a bit of my tooth and she said it might be getting stuck underneath it and whatnot So she's gonna um, kind of File that down a bit whatever she is doing to smooth it out And then I've got a new fill in that I need at the top here Then I've got a fill in right at the back, which I think it's my wisdom tooth here um, I think this is my last wisdom tooth Wisdom tooth's gone up there Oh no, I have got one at the back. I've got one there and one there. And that one is so bad. They basically said if that one needs replacing the filling, then it's going to have to be taken out because it's basically a shell of the tooth. And then just massive filling inside. This one, it's already got a filling in. So it's got a filling at the bottom. And I need a filling at the side now. Um, I think the quarter is like a buckle. And yeah, it's causing a lot of sensitivity, but really bad when I brush it. 
Um, and that one needs doing, but I'm worried because I've got a feeling at the bottom and I feel at the side that, <sighs> that that's going to be the same as this one and it's going to have to be taken out. I'm hoping it's not. I'm hoping it's been filled. It can be filled, but it's any filling that gets replaced, it's getting replaced and then going in deeper. So I maybe have to get a re replaced filling once or twice and then it's getting taken out anyway. I've already lost like three or four teeth and then I lost four when I was younger for, to have braces. So I've already lost quite a few teeth. So um, yeah, I'm just really nervous about my front ones. <laughs> um, I need to actually have a word with them. I'm going to show you, it's disgusting, so if you don't like teeth, turn away. But I've got some um, gum being reside, side, basically my gum's going down. So it's really bad here at the front, right there, where my teeth are very, very long. But I noticed the other day it's actually starting here as well. You see that there? The tooth is all the way up there. It, same from here, you can't exactly see, let me get some light. There, look. Can you see? And then that one's like that, and that one's like that. So I'm not very happy about that. Um, but yeah, what can you do? Um, gum disease is genetic. I clean and as much as I can. I've got an electric toothbrush now, and yeah, but it's still happening. So yeah, I've got an dentist appointment in just under an hour. So I'll probably give myself four to five minutes or so to try and edit as much as I can. Um, and yeah go to the dentist um, I might quickly have a snack because it's going to be around lunchtime when I have the fillings and then obviously I can't eat straight after um, until the numbing wears off and for some reason it always takes ages like an hour to two hours with me so um, I might have a quick snack because um, I don't really fancy lunch yet I'd rather have a bit later so I'm going to have a quick snack um, and whatnot but I will update you when I get back from the dentist hopefully it's been a successful time and I've just had um two fill-ins and that one being polished out or whatever I'm also getting some private stuff done because um I used to have braces when I was little and my bottom teeth my top teeth were perfect they were the worst ever these two teeth here they were literally like this like almost straight so they'd stick out um, and there was like in towards each other. I can't really show you without just one hand, but yeah, these are like pretty much face facing each other. Um, so it's been amazing what braces have done. But at the bottom, um, they're starting to get a little bit out of shape. And I chipped one of them ever so slightly. And then because it's one kit, I have that. Can you see that little bit there sticking up? And I don't like it. So I'm getting that kind of filed off. And it's quite sharp. If you haggle like that, it is really sharp. So I'm getting that sorted today, um, too, which I can't wait because I really want to get rid of it. Um, like I said, it's really sharp and it's really doing my head in, but that I can't obviously get the normal dentist, so I have to pay privately for that. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'll catch up with you after I've been at the dentist. Just got in. <sighs> Even though the amount of work that I have done on my teeth and the amount of times I go to the dentist, you'd think I'd get used to it by now, but I absolutely hate it. I'm still shaking, it's horrible. The um, I find the top fillings for me a lot worse than the bottom ones because oh, obviously my face is all numbed up now. It's pretty much from here all the way down because it's both of them at the top, one that side and one that side. So I mean I can feel here, but I can't feel, oh I can feel it to my nose, but here. I can feel it, but I can feel there. It just feels, yeah. Um, I don't have a clue what it was, but obviously they use a small one, which I really don't mind that one. But then right at the end, how they use a massive one, it makes a lot of noise and a lot of vibration. I physically cannot stand it. The one at the back here, that one wasn't so bad. She did that one second, and I thought that was a bit better than this one. But this one, because it's like first, like molar. Uh, I don't have a clue what that one is. You know the little... Oh, <laughs> I don't have a clue what that one is. Uh, yeah, but my first molar there, the first bigger molar anyway, that's the one I had done. So it's slowly creeping towards my front teeth. I suffer from vertigo, and when I first got my electric toothbrush, it kept making me dizzy. 
every time I'd brush the teeth and it's mainly this one as well because that one was very sensitive but I've gotten used to it now um, but it's the same it makes my whole face vibrate and then it makes me feel really dizzy whilst I'm lying down and then um, it just gets me really shaky and I cannot stand it um, and I cannot stand like having like a panic attack and anxiety attack and everything like that in the dentist chair and then like I'd sit up I feel that weird and then I, I mean even when I went to get my jacket because I thought I'm taking my jacket off because when I have bad anxiety I sweat <laughs> horrible um, but I went up to get my jacket and I just like completely kicked the chair because yeah so I uh, did not like that at all they both seem to have take so long to do um, this one I don't know what sort of stuff they've put in but it kind of feels like material and they're pushing it in don't have a clue what that is but this needed so much of it done and she said it's not a something B it's a something P I don't have a clue what it means I don't know dentist terms but she basically said that this one is a lot like that one these are my last two molars basically and that one she said obviously if that needs refilling then it's gonna have to take it out because it's just a shell and now that one's the same um she said if it needs refilling we're gonna just have to take it out um because it's the shell um I mean it's one of those where they have to clip a metal thing on it and twist it on it's like I'm sure it's like a crown to keep it shaped when they shove all the stuff in but upside my tooth at the bottom look how much better that looks <laughs> And it's not short, which is amazing. So <clears throat> I'm really hoping this number like wears off soon because it's horrible not feeling the top half of my face. And oh, I can smile. I don't look that bad. I do look like <laughs> like I've had both top. Like I've got no emotion in my face because I can't really move this bit when I talk. <laughs> but yeah, enough of me rambling. Um, I need to change the battery in this because it's flashing at me. And I need to edit that, finish editing the video. I've edited most of it. It's just the audio that I need to put in now, like the music and whatnot. And then I've finished and that can export. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, I've got a couple that I need to edit really. So I need to get doing that. I need to pick the kids up in a couple of hours, two hours to be exact. So yeah, I'm, I knew I'm not going to eat anything now. I knew I wouldn't because I'd feel crap afterwards anyway. And obviously I can't feel my mouth, but yeah i feel horrible drinking and stuff because i can't i mean when they told you to rinse your mouth out I, I just put it in my mouth and it just seems to dribble out it's horrible um so yeah i'm gonna go and edit and hopefully in the two hours i can start feeling my, my mouth again before i pick the kids up from school that would be nice so we've been back home for a couple of hours i've just been editing finished editing another video um and i'm just gonna pop the kids some food on i do need to wash the pots as well because i've not had a chance to do anything like that today and to be honest i feel like complete rubbish um it is what time it's half past five um my teeth are really starting to hurt and feel sore um i I am a little bit numb. It takes a really long time for it to come like out of my system for some strange reason. I mean, it's been five and a half hours since I've had it, and about yeah, about five hours, over five hours, and I can still. It's. I can feel most of my face now. I can actually talk and move my upper lip. Um, I still feel like it's a bit swollen. <laughs> um, and my here is a bit swollen. Um, but yeah, just hopefully this back one here, because it's throbbing, um, settles down and nothing happens with that. Because I've had it several times where I've had a filling and I had to go back in um, because of an infection or um, something's just not been right with it. So it had to get redone again and again, if this one has to get redone, it's coming out. So yeah <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna do bits and bobs around the house I think and get the house tidied um but I'm exhausted and in pain and I can't actually take any tablets for it yet because I can actually not drink properly this top lip is still like I can I can say I'm speaking it's big and better but it still is a little bit numb and swollen so uh I can't drink if I drink something it just dribbles <laughs> dribbles out of me so i don't really want to take a tablet and then try and have it especially a big one and i can't swallow it because i can't physically get the amount in my mouth or choke on the 
drink. <laughs> so I'm just gonna wait for a little bit, I think, and as soon as I can feel comfortable. So I've not had lunch yet, I can't. They're very sensitive, but this one is worse. It's painful and sensitive, so I've just had something soft. I actually had one of the unicorn cupcakes. Another one. <laughs> um, which is not that bad, they're 100 calories, so I've had another one of those instead. Um, but I'm gonna have dinner. Um, the kids, I've asked them what they want, and they want pizza. And just because they don't like what we're having, Andrew does, but he said he wants pizza too. So I am making salmon with new potatoes and sweet corn and parsley sauce. So that will be easy enough to eat. I think the only thing I might struggle with is sweet corn. Um, but hopefully I should be okay. God. finished eating dinner. Ava, did you enjoy your dinner? Yeah. Yeah. Did you have a good day at school today? Good. What did you have to eat at school today? Some fish fingers. Fish fingers? <laughs> Were they yummy? You've been doing good for I your dinners, haven't you? I don't know. Um, Is that a mice hair? I don't, I don't think so. It just says brother and friend. When I was making dinner, I completely forgot that we ran out of milk. <laughs> I need to put, I'm making, a because I've had so much stuff to do, I keep making myself lists to do every single day on my phone. So then if I, when I leave and run around and stuff, um, yeah, there's only a couple of things I didn't get sorted today and that was it. So I'm gonna just drag them on tomorrow's list. Um, so yeah, I'll just do them tomorrow. But I need to put, Mommy, buy more milk. Tell. You want to watch telly? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll put something on for you then. <laughs> um, so the only milk that I have left is Dad. unsweetened Dad. almond milk. Dad! And got Bobby's. Yeah, I might. I really hope that he doesn't notice that it is actually unsweetened almond milk. I don't think he will. I think he might say something about it's a sauce different. I'll just say yeah, it's a different one. But um, I don't think he's going to notice. It's one of those that if I tell him it's a healthier version, he won't eat it. And he'll say he don't like it or refuse to eat it because it's a healthier version. So I'm not going to say anything. That's what I used to do when I used to buy corn. I just didn't tell him that it was corn and he didn't complain. <laughs> I much prefer corn than normal meat. I'm a bit funny with normal meat, especially minced meat. Ugh, I hate minced meat, but like corn minced meat. Um, so yeah, I'm going to chill out with you for 10 more minutes, we're going to watch this video and then get going to bed because it's just past 7. Okay. okay. Yeah, we'll get going to bed. You had a good day at school though, yeah? Mm -hmm. Mummy? Yeah? I read the dance and go to watch. You read Goldilocks? Yeah, with my teacher. Oh, <gasps> did you? Oh, that's good. And Dad's up at F2. Yeah, are you enjoying school now? Do you like F2? Good. I don't want F2, but I want to go to F1. Oh, okay. <laughs> Shall we watch this video then? Yeah. So it's very, very late now. Ava's in bed and it is Andrew's bed. 
very very soon well now um, I forgot to mention as well that about an hour before dinner I managed to get most of my feeling back and I actually took some tablets Yay! so uh, yeah that was okay it was a bit tender to eat um, it was okay to chew and stuff it was <laughs> hi it was just when it was hot um, I find it difficult um, to eat on this side this side weren't so bad to eat on but that side hurt but yeah I'm gonna take this little monkey and you're going to go to bed no yeah because it's bedtime no you've got a busy day to go to school And I think I'm going to go to bed very soon because I felt like crap anyway and tired. And now because I've just taken a load of, well not just, a couple of hours ago, I've taken a load of tablets. I'm even more zonked. So I should really, really go to sleep as well. Did you, did you have a good day at school then, Mater? What? Did you have a good day at school? Or? I think so. Today he said he learnt some French. Didn't you? You're going to tell everybody what you learnt? What? So, so I learned salut. What does salut mean? Hi. Does it? I thought you learnt bonjour. Um, bonjour means hi or good day. Bonsoir means good night. Bonsoir is good night. I thought you told me you only learnt one word, not three. I only told you one. No. I wanted to only tell you one. So today, yeah. at Daddy's work, yeah. we're celebrating Oktoberfest. And it's cold. Uh, uh, it's in Germany, mate. And it involves drinking a lot of beer. <laughs> I don't think you're old enough to drink beer. Mm. But in Germany, they really like pretzels. So they brought us loads, of, loads of big pretzels in, okay? But. They also gave me a bag of pretzels to give to you. Now, I'm greedy, so I had some. But try them, tell me what you think. They are the nicest thing this ever. Is so nice. this yes. Is so nice. this Salted caramel. Mm -hmm. Go on. Go on. <laughs> is that nice? Are you going to let mummy try one? I don't know if I'll be able to chew it. <laughs> oh, it's all right. But I can't chew it. I can't chew on that side or that side. <laughs> nice, Andrew. Mm -hmm. oh. Chewing with only your front teeth is really hard. Mm. Mm. They are nice, though. Yeah, they had hundreds of pretzels in big pretzels. Really okay. Actually, um, proper like big, proper baked ones, the ones that like a bread. Yeah, and they had two different ones. They had baked, normal baked ones, and then cheese ones. They were just completely covered in cheese, melted all over. They were incredible. You do know that you are going to keep some of those for tomorrow, right? You can't eat them all now. <laughs> it's bedtime. <laughs> Why don't you go put them somewhere in the kitchen? Keep them safe. Or hide them from Daddy. No. You're not in them now. Massive bag. There's not a lot left. Uh, yeah, there is. <laughs> there's lots. The little bit, but there's still lots of it in there. So go put them. Go put them in the kitchen and give Daddy cuddling kisses. Yeah. Do you want to end the vlog for me? If you are still enjoying the video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Bye bye subscribe to <laughs> bye bye my channel. No, not hers. Mine. <laughs> and I hope you have an amazing rest of the day. And we'll see you soon. Bye.